right, and welcome back to episode 11 of Simulation Protocol 2. As always, Rock here, and we're back today in the Intersection 3. About to head our way over to... Back... <laughs> over to... Back into the Grey Wool area. There was apparently some stuff I missed, so... I figured, why not head back in and do a little bit of exploring. Apparently it was something massive, so... I'm uh, a little surprised I missed it. But... Oh well. Um, so I spent quite a few levels last time, or not last time, between last time and this time, and quite a few XP bottles to upgrade our gear, repair our gear, do some lovely stuff with our gear. Um, I repaired our chest plate that we had. Um, I crafted some new boots, part of the Fall 4 Unbreaking 3, and we called them the Nimbus boots. Um, I also went ahead and upgraded the Mercury's Lucky Pickaxe from Efficiency 2 to Efficiency 4. We had a Efficiency 2 book and an Efficiency 3 book, and we I updated graded both of those. And I also upgraded our Iron Sword from Sharpness 2 to Sharpness 3. Overall, <laughs> a lot of XP was spent in the upgrading process here, but I think that should make us feel even safer and more secure as we head back into the light gray wool area. Let's see what we can find. Um, there was a comment last time uh, leaving a riddle as to what we may be in search of. I didn't quite get what the riddle was at the time, but I'm sure I will in due time. And I don't remember the riddle off the top of my head, so I apologize for that. However, let's get searching. And see what we can find. Um, best guess is I'm going to say it is back down in that area. Ooh. Back down in that area. Um, though I wasn't, I don't think I was paying attention quite as much as I could have been last time. So I almost feel like we should take a quick candor up here just to double check. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, I want to say last time. I'm trying to remember when I recorded last time. I don't know if it was late at night or during the day. I know when I was editing last episode, it was late, late at night. Like, right when I wanted to go to bed, but I had to edit the episode real quick. And because of that, I, <laughs> I left in a little bit of a blackness towards the end of the episode. It's like eight minutes of black or something like that. Which was because I didn't select a highlighted, or I didn't uh, highlight an area that I wanted to render, so I just rendered the whole um, whole project, which often the end of the project, I have the uh, little rock sad face, loss of a, a death counter thing. So it rendered all the way out to that. Um, okay, it was just the iron up here. Alright, just wanted to double check. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Now, I think one of the clues on the riddle was is it looked like the face of a it, it wasn't a house, but it looked like the face of a house. Okay. So we'll have to keep an eye off for something like that. But I guess it's getting here. There were a few houses that I probably didn't I think that I didn't go into, which would probably be good to go into in general. Grab some more loot. Grabbing a little bit more. At least at this point when our gear isn't uh, too outstanding. Um, I mean, it, it's good as is, but it isn't, uh, it isn't ridiculously good like we had towards um, partway into Ragecraft. So, it doesn't hurt. doesn't hurt to up and explore to see if we can upgrade it a bit more. Um, okay, I don't think we went off in that direction. I want to say there was quite a bit of the area that we didn't really explore. Um, charcoal's good to grab. More cage spiders up here. Ha! Huh. This one actually had a visible spawner. <laughs> the other spawners were hiding. Oh. Hello. More food. More charcoal. Some pants. Let's drop off a few of these goodies that we don't... Eh, spider I will keep. 
bones we don't really need. Okay. And it looks like that is it for this house. Alrighty, I find that doing all this exploration is turning out to be more beneficial than not. And since we have this here, let's make a little bit more bread. Not that we need it, but we'll make a little bit more bread. Okay, we've got a spawner over here. Looks like a spider. Oh, definitely this upgrade to Efficiency 4 was a fantastic upgrade. Ah, yes. Oh, that's a lot of witches. I see that weed over there. It's definitely going to be a great grab. Um, it should... Not that we're starving for food. But it will be a good grab to get... Kind of put us even less in a, a need for food. Ah, damn. Okay. Saw spawn over here, which is probably behind that gravel. And oh. mm. Okay. Let's try to secure around here. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of area over here that I didn't get to before. Definitely good that <laughs> definitely good that I came back. <laughs> Time for you, Mr. Skeleton. All right. Okay. A lot of ske zombies around. Probably from all the various darkness around. Uh, there is. Oh, I'll keep that. Uh, there is a lot of empty emptiness around. Ooh. You heard. A lot of empty space around. Uh, let's drop that off. A lot of empty space around for mobs to spawn, and so because of that, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of zombie spawn space. Especially when there's spawners like that. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. Perfect. Now, I probably won't need to grab all of these. Or, I probably didn't need to grab any of these right now. But, we'll grab them right now for this. Um, any other plots we'll grab off screen. And even some of this tidbits around we'll grab off screen. Just wanted to grab a little bit for us so we don't have to grab them later. There we go. But we don't necessarily have to come back and grab them later. We know where there's more food, so I think that's a good knowing. That's a nice spawn right there. That spawned a lot of them, too. <laughs> Got away without getting shot there. Is that supposed to look like a vehicle right there? I think it's supposed to. Aggressive spiders, aren't you? So angry. Such hostile spiders. Alright. Got a good lighting over there. Good lighting over there. Grab some more torches. Um, let's investigate this house right here. See what we can find in here. Spawner. Chest. Oh, secret. Haha. -ha. Oh, oh, this is what I need actually. Um, I need. Well, I would have preferred a non-splash regen potion. 
But beggars can't be choosers. All right. This is, yeah, out in the back. Is that, is that leading to somewhere? Of more wheat. Okay, looks like we have some more up, up way. All right, get rid of you and you. Inventory is quickly, quickly getting polluted with items. Do we see anything? Oh, I see a giant wheat field over there. Okay. Efficiency three. Hmm. I have enough axes at base. Enough axes that I'm not going to use anyways, so I will leave those there for now. Should I need an axe in the future? I'll forget where that is and not worry about it anyways. <laughs> There isn't too many situations where you really just need an axe. Um, okay. Get a little bit of lighting around here. Oh, hi there. Hello, friend. Okay. I'm like getting some base lighting around. Perfect, perfect. What do we have around to deal with aside from these? Oh! Zombies everywhere. Um. Spiders. That's the other thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, the stick guys. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say they've got knockback on their sticks. Probably some form of sharpness. Okay. Probably got a spawner hidden over there, but I'm not going to be too worried about that. Alright. Where is this leading us? Where, where are you taking us, Tika? That's lit up there. This is a waterfall. Waterfalls must be explored, right? Isn't that the rule? <laughs> I think there's a, an unwritten rule. If there's a waterfall, it should be explored. That, and I think it's one of the only ones in this area, so um, definitely more cue to explore it. Is there any other waterfalls in this area? Not that I saw. Nah, man. How about yes? Okay, you know what. Have a flower. It's just a trap. <laughs> Let's do this. I need a safety run away. No smush, smush traps going for us. You really want to just have one. Oh god, this feels trappy. Chest. Here, let me put some garbage in here for you, Tika. Chest for you. It's a present. <laughs> Fine, fine. Oh. What's the trap? Oh my god! Jesus! 
Wow! <laughs> Did they just spawn a ton of... ton of... gas? Holy hell! Did that leave anything to... noteworthy up here? <laughs> Whew! That scared the hell out of me. Let's see if there's any, any remains left up here, if anything. A chest, maybe. Whew. I knew something fishy was up. It was just a matter of where the fishiness was and what the fishiness was. Whew. That scared me. <laughs> Tika, you cheeky, cheeky person. That was a dispenser trap. Sneaky bastard. Ooh. Well, I will take I will take a diamond for all that effort. Definitely uh, uh, readjusting my seat. Uh. Definitely worth the effort there. Diamond. Got some gas tears. What is this? It's a garbage helmet. Definitely worth the effort. <laughs> it scared me, though. Alright. God, I knew something was fishy. You gotta, be, you gotta watch out for that Tiki guy. Can't trust him. One thing you know, he's giving you chest. Next thing you know, he's throwing... Ah, damn it. Blit witches at you. And I see these slimes over here. Not that I think he's going to be giving us nether war anytime soon. But those are always possible things. That's always a possible thing. Damn it, but always a possible thing he could do. Uh. Damn you, witch. You ruined everything. Okay, there's the arena we saw last time. It had the light gray wool in it. Or the um, structures made of the right light gray wool. Uh, we got. Okay, oh. Well, there's a giant. This is not something we saw before. Okay, definitely. Uh, looks like it goes into a new area, too. Probably one of the wolves that I said was probably going to be in the cyan. The glided pass. Oh man, I'm so nice with the ores in this map. Is it glided or gil? Ooh. Well, there's the gold we need. The glided. The gilded. Gilded pass. There's the ores we were, we were needing. It doesn't seem very safe at all. <laughs> What's the catch? What is it, Tika? Oh my god, that's a lot of spawners. That's definitely leading to somewhere terrible. Next area? Next intersection, maybe? Well, if anything, we're getting the gold we need. I think we had five or six at base. Um, oh, there's a lot of gold here. A lot of gold. Um, hoop, hoop, hoop. Let's just get a couple pieces. That should be more than enough right there. Five pieces. That should be more than enough. We'll leave the rest in the... Off chance that we're going to need them. But it feels like I'm going to need to go this way. To this pathway of terror. Horror. And I'm going to want to set up a chest. 
Safekeeping. Let's steal a bit of wood here. Okay. And I think I'll set it up right over here. Let's do a little safety um, cove for it. There we go. Something away from that bridge in case random rogue fireballs come from Ghast or Satan himself. <laughs> Alright, like that. Uh, I want to save you, 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 you. Mm hmm. I think that's good. Chances are we're going to be finding some more loot that we're going to need to grab, and I would rather have the space for them if possible. Uh, let's just do this. All right, perfect. Let's see what kind of spawners we're going to have to deal with here. It's probably going to progressively get worse and worse if I had to guess. Goodness. I think as long as we back up and get out of the spawn ranges for these first spawners, we should be able to kill them. Or let them spawn. Back up, kill the mobs, and then press forward. Okay, it's just going to be a, a, a pile. Call it a pile. Flash mob of different types of mobs. Well, <laughs> anything, it's going to be some good XP. Only, not only between the spawners, between the mobs that are spawning. Okay, I see a redstone ore up ahead and a nethery looking area. It looks like netherrack. Hmm. I wonder where that's going to lead to. Oh, wither skeletons. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we're going to have a ton of XP at the end of this. A little bridge excursion. Looks like it almost looks like the uh, spawn detection range is getting bigger and bigger the farther we're going down there too. Probably not. It's probably my imagination, but it kind of looks like it does. Or the spawners are getting closer together. All right. Oh, okay, spiders. Ah. He's doing so good again, not getting poisoned. You win this time, cave spiders. You win this time. These guys. I'm happy that these guys aren't super or speed supercharged creepers. Because that would have been the death of me. Alright. Secured. Purple wall. Oh, this is going to lead to the blue wool, probably, too. Or the cyan will lead to the blue wool. Hmm. My gold, too. Alright. What do we have to deal with here? Is this going to be a big passageway? Or these kind of a couple mini areas put together, combined together. Definitely not, um... When you look at the aesthetics of a lot of the other areas we've seen thus far. Definitely one of the lower aesthetic areas so far. Which isn't a bad thing. We don't have to have every area as the highest to par of aesthetics. 
where it feels a little lackluster in comparison to some of the other areas. Maybe that one. Oh. Where are all these skeletons coming from? Hiding in the abyss of the darkness. So is there any going to be any special mobs in this area that we're going to have to be particularly worrisome about? Or traps, maybe? Hmm. Not seeing anything yet. Our sort. Oh, okay, never mind. There's more to this area than just this. <laughs> Our sword is getting thrashed. Definitely going to need to either get a new sword here soon or repair this one. Which I think it's going to be leaning more towards repairing this one. So we're probably going to have to back up and repair this. What's this durability looking like? Pretty low. Oh boy. Alright, so this was just the unimportant area before the important area. So it looks like that. <laughs> that is where the aesthetics will pop back in. Um, it's still two. I want to keep pressing forward, but at the same time, I want to back up and repair. I think we need to back up. Let's back up. See what time it is. Do a little repair, repair, and go from there. Ooh, I rhymed. <laughs> I'm like your typical... Like your Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss of death. And monster monster death. Um okay. So we managed to clear off a good section of the entranceway and the bridge that leads to it that makes the plethora of gold readily available to us. Not that I'm gonna really probably go about grabbing a lot of it. However, there's enough around to make notch apples galore. Should we uh, choose to go that route? Assuming Tika isn't um, doing command block stuff to check and make sure we don't get com uh, golden apples. But, oh, got stuff to grab. Lots of mobs right here. Uh, let's see if I can clear out these first. Clear out these first. Grab our stuff. Where are you guys spawning from? Everywhere. And nowhere. Okay. XP. XP everywhere. Too. I'm gonna actually need to repo my, repo, repo, repair my bow as well, but luckily we should have enough XP. Uh, that shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, plop you here. Grab you. Okay, perfect. Let's get back to base. Um, are we that far off from the entrance? We might be. Um, I think I can safely bypass all this stuff and run back to base. So I will run back to base real quick. I'll probably keep it recording just in case something happens. But I will run back to base real quick. And uh, I will catch you guys in a second. So I'll be right back. All right. So we've been going for about a half hour. And I think that is a good time to call it for today. We got our gold block. 
some good progress there. We found our way to the purple wool. Uh, that only leaves the blue wool that is unaccounted for. Now, whether that will, the cyan will lead to the blue wool or um, this purple wool will lead to the blue wool is undetermined yet. But we did find ourselves a large cache of gold. Um, the purple wool area that we'll go into next time. And overall, quite a good assortment of food. We found some steaks. I have zombie flesh I convert into the pork chops. We found a whole lot of bread. Let's turn this into bread. Oh. A whole lot of bread. <laughs> so I think we'll be all set on food for quite some time. Um, we're going to have to mine some more coal shortly. Um, we don't have a whole lot of coal left. And uh, it's definitely going to be a resource that we're going to need. Uh, I know there's a little bit at the entrance to light gray wool, so we might grab that. But overall, we'll have to grab some more coal at some point somewhere. If not, make charcoal. But that's going to do it for today. Very a slightly productive area episode and area. <laughs> and uh, we'll definitely have to get back into there. There was probably a few houses I missed in the light gray too. So we might jump around there next time if we have time. But we'll see. But that's going to do it for today, guys. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, this is Rock. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.